welcome to another video. Merry Christmas. Hope you had a good holiday season. But for Christmas, I got the G29 Driving Force and Shifter. So let's get unboxing. So this is what you get when you open it. You get a charging brick. You get a adapter. But the wheel itself is there. So let me get everything out for you. All right, you guys. So we got it out. So with the wheel, it's leather. Lots of buttons based off of the place. There is the G23. Wrong wheel. Sorry about that. The G20, which is Xbox version. The Xbox version does not have this indicator for throttle or these three buttons. But I got this because I use it on PC, not PlayStation. So that's very cool. The pedals. You got your clutch, your brake, and then your gas. So that's very cool. And then underneath. Sorry, that was terrible. But underneath there's cable management. All right. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And we're going to unbox that. All right. So I've cut it open. And let's lift it up. Difficulties I am having. All right, that comes out like that. And this goes like this. I am just about to pick the shifter up straight out of like that. Let's check the box. There is a manual. That'll be important. Put the box in there. Okay. Awesome. All right, here's the wheel, you guys. Leather, nice. It's pretty nice. So I'm gonna go set it up, everything on my PC, and I will be testing it on Beam and G Drive. You guys, what is up? So I got it set up. I've been using it for about a night so far. Uh, I'm in testing it on Beam and G Drive. Remember, this is not a review video. This is just me unboxing and trying it out. But I will say, this shifter, compared to, like, uh, the, f I think it's, I don't know, what the, I forget the other one, I mean, it's like 180 bucks that I've used, a different one before. But this thing's kind of like a joystick, because if you're in sixth gear and you drop it down to first, let me say, it just goes to fifth. It doesn't go to first. So you have to do this. you have to get good with it. You have to do it perfectly in order. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. You have to do it perfectly in order. And I am just about to switch car, but perfectly in order. Force feedback, I would say, on the wheel is, dude, it's like for a first time user. I've never used like a Fanatec wheel before so for a first time user like it's real easy to tell what going on oh oopsie but yeah so it's pretty good you should be able to see the shifter and that way better If you guys are wondering about the game I'm playing, this is called a BMNG Drive. It's about 20 bucks on Steam. I'm, I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't get it on console. PC only game, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so that's the game feedback and then like if you've never used like a fan attack i highly doubt you'll notice because you can feel it turning and wiggling like if you hold it with one arm it'll it'll turn itself but it's not to the point it's so insanely strong that it is gonna throw you oh i shouldn't have shifted up right there i should not have shifted up 
Oops. So yeah, that's about it for it. Uh, but... But it's a great wheel overall. Great budget wheel. Uh, because that's why I'm pretty sure it's made for a budget wheel. Oh, and tell me in uh, the uh, comments if you like the camera angle. And just to let you guys know, there will be a new setup tour drop coming because I did change it a little. I'd say I saved it, but I don't think I saved it. Oh no. Oh, and then to go to reverse, you have to press down on it. You have to, like, you can't just go over, then down. You have to go press completely, push it down, then over. There will be a full review with specs and everything once I use the wheel a little bit more with all the spec sheets. I'll bring up the spec sheet for you guys. Uh, there'll be a full video on that. So have a great day. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.